is made possible by friends and faithful supporters of Susan Waldrop Ministries. God bless you. It's time for live, Holy Spirit-inspired counsel and prayer. I'm your host, Susan Waldrop. It's time to expect a miracle. Well, do you think we're ever going to come online? Do you think you're ever going to get the picture? Did you think it was going to stay dark for a while? Is that how sometimes it feels that the light just doesn't come on? Are we really happy with this lonely game we play? Looking for words to say. Searching but not finding, understanding anyway. We're lost in this masquerade. You know, so many times you see these entertainers up there. They're dressed like someone else. They're getting paid to sing someone else's lines that they try to make their own. But it's really not the genuine person. It's really not Elvis. It's really not Patty Page. It's really not the Shirelles. It's really not Neil Sedaka. It's a counterfeit. It's an impersonator. Someone that's making a living appearing as someone else. Sometimes that's the way it seems that people will come to you appearing as one thing and yet quite another in reality. That's when you must stop and take it to the Holy Spirit and say, is this the genuine or is this a counterfeit? How can I tell the genuine from the counterfeit, Father? Let me tell you, when the Holy Spirit lives in you, all you have to do is ask him. He will show you the genuine. He will show you the counterfeit. He will show you things about people that the general public has no knowledge of. Even regular people have no knowledge of that know that person. I'm speaking of high profile people and also regular people. The Holy Spirit has sent me several dreams of very famous people, a couple of them I'm beginning to share. And you know, these people are just people. People put them on a pedestal because they appear as one thing, but yet in reality, they might be quite another. We are not to focus on what we see on the television. We are not to look at what we see with our eyes or what we imagine with our minds that that could be. For we don't really know that person except the Holy Spirit tell you. So it is. God will always tell you everything that's coming to pass. I'm going to show you an example of how the Holy Spirit works in my life. Do with it as you feel. But it never fails me because he's real inside of me. And if he is real inside of you, you will have that same daily experience. So opening it up, asking the Lord, give me a word, Father from your spirit to mine, to the people this day. And we see what God would have, just opening it up. You know, this is amazing. He opens me up to page 51. Now, he opened me up to this page earlier today. 
you saw me. I just opened it up from a shut book. There's no markers in the book, nothing like that. It's a brand new book, actually. I haven't ever even really used this particular book. So there's no creases because it would shut. So the word today is this for you. You can take it to the bank because God is always giving you something fresh for what you need right when you need it. Reading from my Whispers, the Green Book, page 51. Come. Do you remember the time you stood at the window and asked me to give you a sign? This actually happened to me. I was standing in a window in the evening and I was looking out the sky and I said, oh, Father, give me a sign. How many of us always want a sign? So he said to me, do you remember the time you stood at the window and asked me to give you a sign? Remember, as you looked out the window in the night air at that same moment, in that same direction, the shooting star fell just for you. This is the way God is. He gives it to you right when you need it. Not when you want it. Not when you think you need it. But when He knows you need it. That is when you will get the sign, the answer, whatever it is from the Lord. Many are the stars in my heavens. But shooting stars are very rare. So are you to me. You are so rare to God. Do you know how rare you are to Him? Do you know how precious you are to Him? You are one of a kind. There's none like you. No one has your fingerprint. No one has your hair. No one has the amount of hairs on your head. Only God knows how many hairs are on your head. That's how well he knows you. That's how much you mean to him. For though your life passes so quickly, the duration you are here, you light up the sky for me and all the other stars wish they could be you. Surely as I give you that token of a sign, I am the God of truth. I cannot lie. Nothing that comes from my lips is enhanced. My truth is truth. My vision for your life is the perfect vision, the perfect vision for your life. My truth is truth. My vision for your life is the perfect vision. My love is the perfect love. And you are my perfect creation. The Holy Spirit wanted you to hear that today, right now. Whether it's night, in the middle of the night when you're watching this, or whether it's the middle of the day, it does not matter. You see, everything is divinely set up by God for you. Everything, every moment, whether it be a trial, that come into your life, or a blessing, count them all blessings. For when you are in Christ, everything is a blessing. I get so tired of people saying, I don't want this to happen in my life. I don't want that to happen. Can't God just make it go away? Of course he can, but would it be in your best interest for him to do that? 
Surely when he suffered on the cross, do you think he wanted to hang there and die? Do you think he did? Don't you remember his prayer? Father, if there be a way, but not my way, thine. So you see, he took the cup of suffering. He took it for you so that you would not turn away. You would not become discouraged. But that every time the enemy should come up against you, you will remember how precious, how very precious you are to him. That's it. It's very simple. Do not become discouraged while doing well. Do not take your hand from the plow, but keep your hand on it. Keep your hand on it for him, for the souls. The many, many souls, the many, many souls. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it shall be yours. Join me online at www.susanwaldrop.org and always expect a miracle. God bless you.